Hey, I'm Red, and today I'm gonna show you how to take that finger style acoustic sound that Rap Star by Polo G has and use it to make better beats of your own. I'll also give you some free loops if you stick to the end. With that said, let's begin. Okay, the first thing I want to show you before you decide if you want to take my advice on this is the final melody I came up with using the simple step shown later in this video. If you like the melody, then stick around because I get a bunch of tips for you. And if not, well, maybe you'd be more interested in learning how to make a dark melody like Solid by YSL Selfie Drake. Anyways, here's the final melody. Rapstar's melody has one main element, and that is the fingerstyle guitar or ukulele lead melody. So let's break it down. For the sound selection in this part, I will be using the nylon guitar preset on Omnisphere, but if you want a free alternative, I recommend the DSK dynamic guitars. This beat was made at 160 BPM, by the way. Step 1. Which note should I use? When it comes to arpeggiated beats in this style, usually the first thing you want to keep in mind is that you're going to be arpeggiating notes, not simply playing random ones. You need a bass. So to start, first, let's choose those chords. Usually for melodies like rap star not necessarily happy but also not necessarily sad i like to use a descending progression in the first three bars and then go up a bit here but to make it chill this order is not enough we need chords that express that too so i'll add this chord progression let me play it for you first and then i'll explain why it works Okay, so here's why that works. First, let's only focus on the root note. The first one is a 1, which means it plays the first note of our scale. The 1 feels like home, it's comforting and always a great way to start a chord progression when you're going for a chill vibe. After that, we have both a 6 and a 4. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that a 5 chord has a lot of tension in it, it feels like it wants to go somewhere. That is not exactly the case for a 4 or a 6. These notes don't really have a lot of tension to them, they don't necessarily feel like they want to go back home home to the one. So using the four and six is a great way to express that chill feeling we're going for. And lastly, so that the progression doesn't feel like it's going nowhere, I added a five chord, so it feels complete once it loops over. To make chords out of that, simply skip one note of the scale and add one right after. Like this, and like this. Okay, now we know which chords we're going to use. Now let's make a melody out of that. Usually the first thing you want to do is play an ascending arpeggio. You know, like in the example I just showed you. But if I did that, then I would just be copying rap stars. So to deviate a little from that, my second best go-to is playing the fifth and the root together with the third one beat later, like this. Now to make that less boring, let's simply play back some notes from our chords. Let's try to add something more towards the middle, since this feels kind of empty. In this case, I'm going to simply play back the top notes here and bring this last note up to a fifth, the same as our root note. I'm doing this to make the transition from this chord to this chord as smooth as possible. You already know what effect a fifth note has in a pattern. And now for the last part, I'm going to first add the sevenths. The seventh notes are at two spaces above our fifths. So if this is the fifth, then six and seven. And again here, six and seven. Seventh notes give the chord a prettier sound, so it will sound fuller. And also I want to add that fast note switch Rapster has. You know what I mean, that that. I'm going to add that at the end of bars 1 and 3. To add it, first choose 3 notes of the scale that are right next to each other. I recommend choosing the notes right in between the 5th of your chord. Also, by the way, there is a difference between the 5th note of a chord and the 5th note of a scale. I want to make that very clear so you don't get confused later. The 5th note of a chord means the note number 5 starting the count from the root note of your chord. And the 5th note of the scale means the note number 5 starting the count from the tonic, the first note of the scale. Okay, back to the melody. Now, place one on top, half a beat later a note below it, and half a beat later a note below it. Now, cut the first part of this note out and fill that space like this. Lastly, cut the last half beat like this. And that's it for the main melody.
Now I'm going to play that progression in my acoustic guitar and for the effects I'm adding this. Correction EQ, RC20 to make it sound more like a sample and chorus and reverb to make it bigger. Now all we need are some generic trap drums. And a low pass intro. To do that, add your melody, a sub bass and some risers. Now automate a low pass filter to trigger here and bypass here. Now your drop will sound harder. And done! That's how to make a finger style acoustic melody like Rap Star by Polo G. Before I play you the final beat, if you want to download the melody loop I made in this video, there's a free download link in the description. It's royalty free, so you can use it however you want. I make two beat breakdowns a week, so if you want more of this, subscribe, and as always, see ya.